is it that I am taught that to know Allah, you have to know Tauhid Rububiyah, Tauhid Uluhiyah, and Tauhid Asma'us Sifat. Someone asked this question saying that understanding Allah or loving Allah through these three ideas of what Allah is, is akin to, to the Trinity in the Christian or in Christianity. Is this true or is the idea of Tawheed as Uluhiyah, Rububiyah and Asma'u Sifat akin to the Trinity that is in Christianity? InsyaAllah, Shaykh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I think what is quite clear is uh, the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it manifest like I made mention of earlier in my speech that we need to worship Allah alone. And in order to worship Allah alone, there are several guidelines. The most important thing we need to know is that no act of worship can be rendered for anyone but Allah. And in the same, in, in the same breath, we need to understand that no one is similar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٌ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْبَصِيرُ There is nothing like unto Allah, nothing similar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is all hearing and all watchful. We need to understand the names and qualities of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are unique because if they were not unique, then what makes him greater than everybody else? And we need to understand the fact that Allah is in supreme control means no one else is in similar control. So if anyone was in similar control or shared part of that with Allah, what would make him so unique? So it is in order to understand this oneness of Allah, the scholars have highlighted three major aspects of concentration where in order to make sure that we are not dwindling we ensure that firstly acts of worship are only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so he is al-ilah he is the the one who is worthy of worship number one number two the fact that Allah is the maker the sustainer the cherisher the provider the curer alone it makes him rabbun so we do not associate partners in that aspect as well these are two aspects that are all, both connected to the same Allah which means all we are trying to do is to protect ourselves from associating partners with the one Allah similarly when it comes to his names and qualities like you have uh, the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where he calls himself Ar-Rahim Ar-Rahim is a level of mercy that is very very high and it is a special type of mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has on a specialized group of people who are uh, believers. So no one can call himself Ar-Rahim besides Allah because that is Allah alone. If we believe that there is another Ar-Rahim, then we have associated partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his names and qualities. So this is why they have the three different categories. They are nowhere near the Trinity. The Trinity is three totally separate entities. The, this is actually the same thing. Uh, it's like, for example, I am saying, this is just an example off the cuff. This bottle of water in front of me, if I were to tell you this is one unique bottle of water, the water is colorless, it is not blue. That does not mean I'm speaking about two things. It's the same water I'm talking about. I'm describing it with a different description. If I were to say it is in a bottle, not in a jar. So that is a different description. But that does not mean I am speaking about three separate items like the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. No, I'm speaking about one thing. I'm only explaining it to you from three separate angles to ensure that you know exactly what it is. So when we speak of Tawheed al-Uluhiyyah, Tawheed al-Rububiyyah, Tawheed al-Asma wa sifat all of them are connected to getting to know Allah and nothing else. So to protect us from uh, shirk, we would need to know Allah through all these three angles and consider Him the one, unique and the only in all these three aspects. Wallahu a'lam.